Hey people, today we're diving into the future of space exploration, specifically our journey to Mars. Let's uncover what's happening now in the world of space and what's to come. Right now, NASA's Perseverance rover is hard at work exploring Mars's Jezero crater, if I said that right. Um, this is where scientists hope to find clues of ancient life. It's not just taking pictures, it's doing cool experiments like the MOXIE test, which turns carbon dioxide from Mars's atmosphere into oxygen. This breakthrough could be a game changer for future human missions. Perseverance carries some really advanced tools. Its supercam can analyze rocks and soil from a distance, helping us understand the planet's chemistry. Meanwhile, its SAM instrument digs deep into, into the samples to search for organic molecules, tiny hints that Mars might once have hosted life. Over on the European side, ESA's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, as a mouthful, is busy studying methane in the Martian atmosphere, since methane could be another sign of life. However, the ExoMars rover Rosalind Franklin, which was supposed to join the mission, has been delayed until 2028 due to changes in its international partnership. Despite that setback, Perseverance continues to be our main guide, unlocking Mars's secrets one discovery at a time. SpaceX's Starship completed its first orbital test in 2023, but a Mars landing is likely decades away. For now, it's focused on moon missions under NASA's Artemis program. NASA's Artemis program isn't just about returning to the moon. It's our first big step toward living and working in deep space and ultimately reaching Mars. At the heart of Artemis is the Space Launch System, or SLS, NASA's most powerful rocket ever built. Picture the SLS as a giant booster that will send the Orion spacecraft, our high-tech shuttle designed for deep space journeys beyond Earth's orbit. Orion isn't just any spacecraft, it's built to keep astronauts safe and comfortable as they venture into the unknown. After launch, Orion will head toward the moon and connect with Gateway, a small space station that will orbit the lunar surface. Think of Gateway as a space pit stop where astronauts can refuel, run experiments and prepare for their next big adventure, landing on the moon itself. This process is all about testing new technologies and learning how to handle long duration space missions. While Artemis aims for a moon landing as early as 2026, it's really a training ground for even bigger missions. Human trips to Mars are tentatively planned for the 2040s, giving us time to overcome technical and funding challenges. And we're not alone in this journey. Private companies like SpaceX and Relativity Space are busy developing reusable rockets and even testing out 3D printed habitats, innovations that could help us live on other planets one day. There's also exciting work on nuclear-powered rockets, like the Draco concept, which might one day cut travel times dramatically, though that technology is still in the early stages. In short, Artemis is more than just a moon mission. It's our launch pad into the future, a way to learn, test and prepare for the incredible challenge of making life multi-planetary. Imagine embarking on a trip to Mars, a journey that typically takes between six and eight months one way. That might sound like a long time, but there's even more to consider. While en route, astronauts are exposed to cosmic radiation that can add up to the equivalent of 15,000 chest x-rays over the entire trip. It's a stark reminder of the harsh environment of deep space. And the journey itself isn't set in stone. The travel time to Mars can vary depending on the alignment of Earth and Mars. Sometimes the journey might be on the shorter side, and other times a bit longer. All because of the way the planets orbit the Sun. Now, 
add in the communication delays. Depending on where Mars is in its orbit, it can take up to 22 minutes for a message to travel from Mars to Earth and the same amount of time back. Imagine needing help and waiting nearly 45 minutes for a reply. That's why astronauts will have to be more self-reliant than ever before. To prepare for these challenges, NASA is running HERA missions, Human Exploration Research Analog Projects, <laughs> bloody hell, that simulate the isolation and delayed communication of a Mars trip right here on Earth. And there's more. Advanced AI tools similar to those developed by OpenAI are being explored to help make real-time decisions when communication with Earth isn't an option. In short, a Mars mission isn't just going to be a long journey. It's a test of human endurance, innovation, and our ability to adapt to the extreme conditions of space. Mars isn't just about leaving flags and footprints. It's about unlocking secrets that could change how we see life itself. Take Perseverance, for example. As it roams the Martian surface, it's hunting for clues about how life might have begun on the Red Planet. And while it's busy doing that, it's also testing technologies that could make a huge difference back on Earth. Imagine water recycling systems that were originally built for Mars now being used to help communities facing drought. These innovations show us that the challenges of living on Mars can spark solutions for some of Earth's most pressing issues. If we can figure out how to thrive on Mars dealing with limited water and harsh conditions, it might just give us the breakthroughs we need to tackle our own climate crisis. So, while Mars might seem like a far off barren rock, the work we're doing there could have a profound impact on life here, at home, redefining our understandings of life's origins and helping us build a more sustainable future. Mars isn't a race for one country, it's a global adventure. Take the UAE's Hope Probe for example, Launched in 2020, it's been giving us a fresh look at Mars's weather and atmosphere, almost like opening a window into its hidden secrets. Then there's India's Mangalian, I think, which made history by reaching Mars on its very first try, proving you don't have to spend a fortune to achieve amazing things in space. And let's not forget China's Tianwen-1. <laughs> This mission is exploring Mars with an orbiter, a lander and a rover all working together to uncover the mysteries of the red planet. Now, you might hear a lot of hype about Mars missions in the 2030s. While it's always good to be a bit skeptical about bold timelines, there's every reason to be excited. Every mission, every new discovery. It's like adding a new piece to a giant puzzle, like slowly building up your empire in Civilization V. <laughs> Great game. So while reaching Mars might seem like a long, challenging journey, remember, it's a shared goal. The breakthroughs we're making today through international teamwork and innovative thinking are lighting the way for tomorrow's explorers. One day, Mars might not just be a distant dream, but a destination we all work toward together. Thank you very much for journeying with me today to Mars, wherever you are in the world. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe for more videos like this, and together we will continue orbiting curiosity. Bye.